and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be going over a $750 gaming PC. This is going to be a pretty good one, so be sure to check out all of the links to everything we feature here in the description down below on Amazon. If you go and actually buy through any of those links, it does help support the channel, so we are really, really grateful for it. Thank you very much for deciding to do that if you decide to buy your system on Amazon. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We post awesome content here every single day of the week going over PC builds, tech, all of that awesome stuff, you won't regret it, so uh, like and subscribe. But let's go ahead and get on into this awesome build. For our processor, we're going with an AMD Ryzen 5 2400G with a base clock at 3.6 gigahertz. This thing's quad core, it'll serve us right. AMD's processors have improved a ton, and the Ryzen 5 series is really, really good, especially when you consider you're getting a great bang for your buck option at just $162 at the time this video is made. Now we're obviously going to need a motherboard to put this in, and for that, we're going with the AS Rock A320M Micro ATX motherboard. Now, sure, we're not going with full ATX on this thing, but it's a $750 build, and this motherboard does have enough expansion for a Wi-Fi card, a sound card, and a graphics card, so you're good there. You're not going to be able to SLI with this thing, but it's a Micro ATX board, so that's not surprising. It'll also support up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which should be good for any of your expansion needs. If you want more than that, you need to build a bigger, better, higher-end system. For our RAM, we're going with 8 gigabytes of G-Skill, Aegis D DDR4 RAM, and I'm just including one stick here, and that's because I want you to save up a little bit more money and buy two sticks of RAM as soon as possible. You can buy this system right now with one stick of RAM, and it will work fine, but I would recommend upgrading the system to 16 gigabytes. If you're not, I will link down below a two- four gigabyte kit, right? So two by four gigabytes to give you eight gigabytes of total RAM if you never plan on upgrading the RAM, but I would upgrade it as soon as possible and it's not too expensive. Another eight gigabyte stick here would cost you 80 bucks, so nothing crazy. And if you actually added it onto the system, we would only be at $770. So not a bad price, but I wanted to keep it under 750 and to do that, I had to go with one stick of eight gigabyte RAM. For a hard drive, we're going with obviously my personal favorite, a one terabyte Western digital digital caviar blue drive. This is going to be our everything hard drive. It's going to have all of our data on it as well as our operating system programs and everything like that. Sure an SSD would be nice but at the end of the day this is a $750 build. We bumped up to a thousand. You can check out my $1,000 build up there. You might be able to squeeze in an SSD but for now we're going with just a one terabyte western digital caviar blue. That drive will serve you well. I booted and worked off of it for years even up until about three months ago I was working off of a western digital caviar blue. So, thumbs up from me there. It'll serve you right and uh, get everything you need to get done, done. Now, what about what you've all been waiting for? The graphics card. In this system, we're going with a 6 gigabyte NVIDIA GTX 1060. Wow killer graphics card, and considering this build comes in at under $750, you can't really beat it. A 6 gigabyte card plus a Ryzen 5 processor that we have in this thing creates only an 8% bottleneck. Not too bad if you ask me, considering really and truly, this is a killer graphics card and a killer processor and we're only paying $750 for the entire system. It does say on the bottlenecker there should be some RAM bottlenecking maybe in the future. Right now it would probably be okay, but upgrading to 16 gigabytes is recommended. And if you you do that, that reduces that 8% bottleneck even more. So yeah, this is a pretty good build and overall this CPU and GPU combo is awesome. Now we still got a little bit more to do though. What about our case? Well for our case we're going with a Cooler Master Master Box Lite 5. This is a killer case guys and it will actually allow you to upgrade to a full ATX motherboard in the future if you want to, which is great because this isn't the be all end all system. This will work well for you for three to five years, but you'll need to upgrade. And the fact that you can keep your case and just get rid of your motherboard is awesome and will allow for great upgradability in the future. Now we're also going to need a power supply. And for that, we're going with the Seasonic. 520 watt, 80 plus bronze certified fully modular power supply. Freaking awesome, guys. I love this power supply, and it's a really, really, really good deal. So, awesome stuff there, and yeah, that's pretty much the bill. Our total price comes in at a cool $732 at the time of this video. Might go up a little bit, because I don't know if there's any sales going on or anything, but this system will be easily picked up for somewhere around $750 without any problems, and like I said, at the time this video is made, it's $732, and 90 cents, which is a killer deal, in my opinion, for this system. You'll be able to run all modern games without any problem whatsoever. 
whatsoever using the system we have here. So overall, if you're looking for a great bang for your buck gaming system, this is probably the best one we've ever done. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can check out all of the links to the products we talked about and all of the parts we talked about in the description down below. If you buy through those Amazon links, it does help support the channel, so thank you for that. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I suck at outros, and I am out, guys. Peace.